yummy, yummy. Came in for some popcorn today? Yes. So this white chocolate macadamia nut, caramel with chocolate and pecan. Okay, I like that. Me too. A white cheddar with jalapeno. I can taste the jalapeno. Yeah. Already. This one is like a the little salty chocolate. and a little sweet together. Kind of like kettle corn. I've been so disciplined on my diet, I think I deserve a teeny weeny cheat day. Thank you. I'm pretty sure the free samples don't count anyway. So how's everything with you? I know you haven't been feeling well. I still haven't told most of the girls any details about my condition, just because I'm still having a hard time coming to terms with it myself. I have congestive heart failure, which means that I have fluid on my heart. I didn't want to tell everyone, you know, and they worry about me or they baby or just be like, you need anything? You, you want, want you anybody want me to, to, like, pity you? Yeah. But you have been taking all your medication? Yeah, I've been taking my medication. The way you should? Yeah. Low sodium diet. And we're in here eating popcorn, girl. Oh, whatever. Right. Enough about my health. Let's talk about this engagement. Oh, my goodness. It was beautiful. I loved it. I mean, we did that. We did that. Yes, we did. It was beautiful. Yes, we did it. But then Andrea came, and it's like, is she mad at me? I haven't spoken to Andrea since we got back, but I know she's still upset, and I don't know what to do about it. I feel like I should give her space, but I also feel like we should talk it over. So are you happy for Amanda? Yeah, I'm not happy for Amanda. I'm really excited for her. Like, I, can't, I just can't wait to start planning and all that. But then, like, I'm going to tell you something about okay? You know when everyone was on the bridge and we're all crying and everything? We were, so, we're, we're happy. Like, it was a surprise for everyone, right? best moment. Yeah. So then, you know, after we're crying and everything, you know, Mini, she goes, I went with him to go pick the, the ready ring. And I was like, oh, okay. Okay. Can you believe that? I get it. The only thing that was holding me back is because, you know, you know my sister, you know, I didn't want to ruin her moment and her Jordan, and then, you know, I didn't want to ruin anything, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to suck it in, like, swallow it in. So I think it was more not to hurt your feelings, but I think Minnie just was looking out for Amanda. That's a bunch of bull****. She was probably upset because she didn't, wasn't involved in it, basically. I didn't volunteer to do it. Jordan came to me and asked me. He thought that Dre would have, you know, slipped up and said right. something. But the way that Mimi came at me, like, she had, like, smirking her face, like, yeah, bitch, like, I'm the one that helped him choose the ring. So I'm the you one really, that... so are you mad at the fact that she didn't tell you? Are you mad at the fact that how she grew up in both, your face? Both, both, I'm mad with both. I don't know, something about Mimi, like, if she was a good friend, she would have to be she would have told Jordan, hey, you know, that's a sister. And he would have convinced him, hey, come on, let at least let Andrea be involved in it. But, you know, I guess she wants to be the only one. But she's not family to me. She's just a friend, you know. So, oh, she no longer Mama Bear? Y'all are, like, extremely close. Right. Like, you're the Mama Bear. I've been with you guys from day one since y'all moved to Atlanta. And it's like over brain picking. I know that's something special, but damn. Well, maybe you took that opportunity away from me, That's one in a lifetime. And I know Amanda doesn't want to get married again. You know, we won't be able to go back to it. Mm -hmm. You want to be a part of yeah, it. Yeah, and I wanted to be a part of it. Just like she, I know she wanted to be a part of it with mine. Yeah. You know? You just need to talk to her, let it all out, I guess. <sighs> I don't know what's been going on with her. Have you talked to her? Like, no, has she talked talk to you about anything? I just feel like we need to have a girl's day and just see what's going on. You want to talk to her, right? Yes, her. yes. So I've been looking online, and it's this place. It's a winery, you know, wine tasting. Oh, my gosh. Yes. So where is this place? It's, um, like, in North Georgia. So I was thinking a party bus. Well, you'll have plenty of time to talk to Drea. Yeah. So you guys will be able to move forward from this. I hope so.